red numbers trimmed in light blue as well. Augsburg comes out of the road maroon. Augsburg across the front in black trimmed in white. Black numerals trimmed in white. Lucas Olsen Patterson against Henriks on the tip of the tip is controlled by the Augies. Jarju Sloa, outstanding receiver on the football field. Plays point guard as well. Transfer from North Dakota State. Has the ball top of the key. Left side now to Olsen Patterson. Cross court into the hands of Golson. And Golson swings it over to his brother Marcus. Marcus gets it inside. Olsen Patterson muscles his way to a deuce underneath. 2 0 Augsburg. McKenzie will bring it into the front court. He starts at the point. Bounce pass to Hendricks in the high post on the right side. And we've got an inadvertent whistle. And McKenzie wide open three. And it rims in and out. Gillette trying to come up with a rebound. Can't. It's tipped over to Zach Rosen. And now we're going to have an officials conference after that horn that sounded. A little bit of a, a malfunction. Inadvertent horn. And they cannot reset the shot clock. Now they do back to 35. 2 0 Augsburg. They have the ball. We are just about 40 seconds into this game. Sloan brings it up the left side of the floor. Guarded by McKenzie in the man to man. Gets it away to Golson. Golson checked by Jesse Ellis. Golson, a little bit of a push off there, separates himself, has it on the left wing. Bounce pass down to the baseline. Olson Patterson back out to Sloan, top of the key. Sloan swings it right side now to Jonathan Golson. Back out to Olson Patterson for three. It's short. And the rebound out of bounds. And it was touched by McKenzie, and so will the Augsburg basketball. One of those ones that has it ricocheted down from the rim. Hit McKenzie right in the chest, and he wasn't looking for it. And so it will be controlled by the Augies from the sideline. Jonathan Golson, a 6-1 sophomore out of Gary, Indiana, inbound. Gets it into Yarzu Sloan, an ultra quick point guard. Six foot 190, a soundly built point guard. Off to Marcus Golson, dribble drive, and we've got a whistle and a foul on the move. Looks like Ellens committed the foul on a reach in. Jesse Ellens, fine first year player out of Sox Center. Just down the road from Collegeville, picking up that foul. 2-0 Oxford. Minute and 16 in. Foggy's inbound. Rosen gets it into Sloan. Pump fake. Shot up. Good. And a foul. And let's see who this one's going to be called. A couple of Johnnies converged. And Yarzu Sloan will step the line looking for the three-point play. Had a nice play off the inbound. Screening for Sloan. Getting him isolated down on the baseline. And that foul's going to be on Paul Hendricks. And that'll be his first on the post player. Stand 6-4. So Sloan at the free throw line, a 74% free throw shooter for the Aggies who shoot 69% as a team. And that free throw is good, and it's a 5-0. Augsburg lead. McKenzie will bring it to the front court for the Johnnies. He's got it out on the wing on the right side. Dribble drive to the baseline, whistle, a foul. This one's going to be called tighter, so it looks here in the early going. Hand check. That hand check's going to be called on Jonathan Golson. Inbound situation for the Johnnies, right side of the baseline. Omi looking to key it in, gets it in out front to McKenzie, top of the key. Johnnies right to left on your radio dial, decked out in the home whites. McKenzie to Omi, right side to Ellens. Ellens outside the arc to Omi, top of the key, left side now to McKenzie, down to the baseline to Gillette in the left corner. Back out to McKenzie. Dribble drive against Sloan, gets a screen from Hendricks, top of the key. Whips a pass right corner to Ellens, 17 on the shot clock. Out to Omi. Omi, dribble drive, fun bounce pass to Gillette down to the baseline, and he has his ball taken right out of his hands by Olsen Patterson, who stepped out of bounds. Nine on the shot clock for the Johnnies to try and get something to work. And so the Johnnies will inbound. Left side now, baseline. Omi doing the honors, gets it out front to McKenzie, top of the key, into the corner. Three-pointer going up for Omi, and it's in and out. Rebound, Hendricks. And Hendricks has it stripped, gets it back. Pass pass away to McKenzie on the right side. Johnny's keep the ball. Three-pointer for Omi this time. In and out again. Rebound tipped around. Ellens has got it for St. John's. Ellens gets it out to McKenzie, and the Johnny's reset the offense and the shot clock. With it is Omi. Inside to Hendricks in the high post. Had the ball knocked away, but a foul call. That foul is going to be on Marcus Bolson, Jonathan's brother. So each has one, and it's the second team foul on the Augie. They lead 5-0. 17-43 left to go in the first half. Johnny's inbound yet again. Bounce pass to Hendricks. Elevate shoots and shoots it off the top of the backboard. Olsen Patterson comes up with the rebound. Just had to wait for that one to come down. Sloan into the front corner. Has it at the foul line. Leans in from 14. Missed the shot. 
Coming away with the rebound is Pat McKenzie for the Johnny. Flows right by Yarzu Sloan up the right side of the floor. Bounce pass inside. Layup up for Obi. Pat Obi in transition gets the Johnnies on the scoreboard. 5-2. to two. Boggy's bringing it to the front court. Yarzu Sloan with a basketball. He and the official carrying out a bit of a conversation. Sloan left side to Golson. He'll elevate, shoot from 12 and miss the jumper. Rebound Zach Rosen inside, crashing the boards. And the 6-7 post player is able to put it in for the Augies. Rosen with his first rebound. Check that second board. First point. So we've got a whistle down the floor. The Johnnies were in the front court. Only wound up on the ground. That foul is going to be on Yarzu Sloan. Today, one of the guards for the Yongis. Sloan, Golson, and Golson. Sounds like a law firm, I know. Has a foul. 7 2 the score. St. John's trailing, inbounding, far sideline. Gillette with the basketball, top of the key, hands it off to McKenzie. McKenzie, dribble drive right by Golson, now pulls it back out, gets it to Gillette, just inside the arc. Right side to Omi. Omi on the wing, guarded by Kevin Keto in the man-to-man. -man. Boss pass to Gillette. He'll pull his way past Olsen Patterson and now kick it out. McKenzie, wide open three. It's no good. Missed that one badly at the side of the backboard. Just to the right of the rim, Olsen Patterson the rebound. Up the floor to Keto. Augie's with the basketball. Olsen Patterson at NBA three. It's short. McKenzie comes down with his second rebound. And he'll work it into the front court to Omi. Johnny's with the basketball, trailing 7-2. to two. Omi, top of the key to Hendricks. Hendricks at Omi down low on the baseline. He'll shoot and miss from five feet. Olsen Patterson the rebound again. Augie's up the floor. Marcus Golson with it off to Kevin Keto. Keto with it on the left wing. Down low to Olsen Patterson. Back out to Keto. Fakes a three against Hendricks. They'll reverse the ball to Jonathan Golson for the Augies. Bob pass to Marcus Golson in the paint. He'll spin. Get it out to Jonathan Golson for three. It's no good. Long rebound. Hendricks has got it. Lost. It slapped away. Rosen comes up with a loose ball. Lays it up and in. So Paul Hendricks had that rebound. Had it slapped right out of his hands by Marcus Golson. Into the hands of Zach Rosen. And it's a 9-2 Augsburg lead at the 15-36 mark. Inside. Hendricks puts a layup. Up. He was in the paint. Spun from four. And was out of the score. Score. Johnny's trail by five. Augie for the ball. Kevin Keto, first year player out of Forest Lake, 5'7, 150, a little burner. Swings it left side now to Golson. To Olson Patterson to the high post. Out to Marcus Golson, 18 footer. No. Rebound comes down to Hendricks. Lost the ball again, but McKenzie there, able to pull it away. Johnny's keep the ball. Omi will work it into the front court on the dribble. Has it up the right side. Loops the pass inside. Wide open. Hendricks lays it up and in. Oh, Hendricks a quick four. And the Johnny's pulled it in three. Just under 15 minutes left to go. 9-6 the score. Keto will bring it into the front court against McKenzie in the man-to-man, -man, the Johnny's feature. Keto with the ball out front. Left side to Jonathan Golson to his brother Marcus and a whistle and a foul on Keto. Through a bad screen. Up against uh, Jesse Ellens fighting through it. Kopetka and Hinman coming into the ball game for St. John's. Kopetka, Nate, 5'10", 170, a senior out of Elk River. And Ryan Hinman, former Cathedral standout from St. Cloud, 6'3", 202, a junior. Augie's also substitute coming into the ball game. Grant Hemmingson, 6'7", 235, a sophomore banger out of New Brighton, went to Moundsview High School. Johnny's with the basketball, trailing by three. Hendricks with it, right wing. Cross court, Kopetka fakes a three. Flips it out to Gillette. He'll try a three. Made one last game. Makes one this game. The 6'6 senior steps outside and knocks it down. Tying the game at nine. The Johnnies are on a 7 0 run. 14 23 left to go in the first half. Keto into the front court. Hounded by Kopetka. Right side to Hemmingson. Hemmingson about fast low to Marcus Golson. Goes strong to the hole and blocked by McKenzie. And Hemmingson gets the rebound. Misses a 15 footer. Golson climbs over the back of Hinman. And uh, he was not called for a foul. Instead, he'll earn a trip to the free throw line as he was fouled in transition. And I'll tell you what, the Johnny coaching staff is unbelievably out of control against Marcus Golson's actions out there on the floor. They're really giving it to the official who may have missed that over the back call. It's not going to be a shooting situation. It will be a foul on Pat McKenzie, though. On the inbounds, Marcus Golson with it left corner. Dribble drive baseline, and oh, that's a foul. That's what you call a makeup. Marcus Golson ducking the shoulder. Possibly should have been called for a foul on the rebound. Picks one up here on the charge. Turnover on the Aggies. Their first of the game, according to our St. John's preparatory school statute. St. John's prep, academic rigor, spiritual growth. Call 363-3321 for admissions information. 
Nine Niners score at the 14 minute mark of the first half here in Sexton Arena on the campus of St. John's University in Collegeville. Johnny's with the ball. McKenzie with it, fakes a three. Triple drive by Golson, lays it up, no one's foul. And Jonathan Golson's going to pick this one up. That'll be his second, and the fifth. Make it the sixth team foul now against the Augie. Shooting situation for Pat McKenzie, the senior out of Green Bay, Notre Dame. 64% free throw shooter. Averaging 12 points, three boards. Yet to score in today's contest. We are tied at nine. They don't have uh, 35 on the roster. He's on the court. 35 is not on the roster, but he's not. Five. Yeah, three five is not on their roster. Not in the book? No. Is he in the book? No. Technical foul. Yeah, that should be a technical. So Augsburg with a player who is not in the book on the floor. Please turn to the back cover here, Johnny. Give me a quote on the back cover. Number 35. I wonder if that's Corey Nathy in the. No. George Dennis. That's going to be a technical foul because you don't have them in the book. So a technical foul against Augsburg for having a player. And Ryan Hinman will shoot two free throws. And the Johnnies will get the ball. Michael, who's that supposed to be, 35? Is that supposed to be Nathy? Find out who it is. Hinman hits the free throw. Yeah, Nathy. Nathy, all right, thank you. So Corey Nathy, Don's number 35. Stay in the line, knock him down. Able to hit two free throws to give the Johnnies an 11-9 lead after the technical against Augsburg. That goes right on the coach or on the bench, one of the two. Which I don't see there's much difference. McKenzie hits his first free throw. Remember, he was fouled. Olsen Patterson back in the ball game for Zach Rosen for Augsburg. And so McKenzie will get another free throw, and then I believe St. John's to get the basketball. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see on that one. 12-9 the score. Now make it 13-9 as the Johnny's able to get four up. Augie's get the ball in the backcourt. Johnny's come with a full court press. Olsen Patterson up the floor. And into the hands of Dan Graff just off the bench. Back to Patterson. Olsen Patterson will walk it into the front court. Yarnzu Sloan has it at the point now, top of the key. Down low to Hemmingson. He'll spin an offensive foul as he knocks over Paul Henrik setting up for the charge. And Hemmingson will pick up his first foul, team seventh foul. Against the Augsburg, it's a player control foul, so no free throws to be shot. But the Johnnies have gone on an 11-0 run to take a 13-9 lead. And at the 13-35 mark. Into the front court. McKenzie with the basketball for St. John. Bounce pass to the high post to Hendricks. Right of the foul line. Hands it off to Hinman. Hinman, 18-footer up and in. Ryan Hinman continues his fine shooting from the free throw line, carrying the jumper. And the Johnny Lee climbs to six at 15-9. Yarzu Sloan into the front court for the Augies. Hits the cutter, Nathy. Back out, a three-pointer going up and going down for Dan Graff. They're going to say his foot was on the line, just two. Johnny's down the floor, Hinman with it, top of the key to Sponham. Right side to McKenzie. McKenzie outside the arc to Sponham, top of the key. Left side to Hinman. Now to Petka, to Hinman. Right side into the hands of Henrich. Johnny's with the ball, McKenzie at three, top of the key. Off the back iron. Rebound comes down to the hands of Dan Graff of Augsburg. Augsburg quickly up the floor. Olsen Patterson driving, arching five-foot runner, no good. Rebound inside, goes to Graff. Graff will kick it out to Yards and Slow Auto says, guys, let's slow it down. Slowing with the top of the key. Right side now to Nathy. Nathy, a bounce pass into the high post to Olsen Patterson. Olsen Patterson checked by Sponham, gets it down low, and a shot up by Sloan, and he's fouled by Kopetka. Nate just a step late against Yarzu, and Yarzu will go to the line for two. 15 to 11, the score, St. John's on top. Yarzu Sloan, a 74% free throw shooter, one for one of the day. One for one as a team is Augsburg. Johnny's have been in the line four times already and made all four. 
slow one, free throws up, off the back end. He knew it just as he released it, he walked into the lane. Omi in, McKenzie out. Let's set the Johnny Five. Kapetka, Omi, Henricks, Hinman, and Spano. Olsen, Patterson, Hemmingson, Yarzu, Sloan, as well as Corey Nathy and Dan Graff on the floor for the Augies. Augies pulled within three now at 15 to 12. Oh, Sloan hit that free throw. Kapetka with it, reverse the ball to Sponham on the right wing. Sponham feeds Hendricks high post left side to Omi. Fakes a three, gets to Sponham on the baseline right side. He'll shoot from 15 and airball it. Olsen Patterson with his fourth board for the Augies. Up the floor, Sloan dribble drive through the lane, arching layup off the back iron. Hendricks comes up with his fourth board for St. John's. Up the floor now to Omi. Johnny's into the front court. Omi dribble drive, layup up and in. Oh my! Oh my, oh my, is he close by everybody to the hole. 17 to 12 the score, saw the lane and took off like a running back. Sloan with the basketball, the front court. Right side now, to Dan Graff. Graff out on the wing. Left side, into the hands of Patterson, Olsen Patterson. He'll drive against Spottom. Arching 10 footer, no good. Spottom comes up with the rebound, his first for the Johnnies. Up the floor to Kapetka, left side Omi. Omi outside the arc, beats Kapetka, now to Spottom right wing. Spottom to Hemish, or uh, rather to uh, Heinrich Hendricks, who had his 15-footer block. Johnny's get the rebound. Kapetka, three left wing, it's good. Nate Kapetka left wide open, right in the spot where he drove four of six against Hamlin, the key win earlier this year. And he buries that three to give the Johnnies a 20-12 lead at the 11.07 mark. Darcy Sloan, right side, into the hands of Zilka. Zilka gets it back. He'll try a three just in off the bench. Misses that one. Olsen Patterson's rebound, no good. Hemmingson, Patter Hemmingson fouled on his tip try, and he'll go to the line. Paul St. John's 25, Paul Hendricks is second. Hendricks picks up his second. He'll be out. I'm He's sure it's Markling's coming into the ball game. He'll give the Johnny Star a blow. Talk it's a high shooting Talk situation. And so inbounding from the sideline will be Hemmingson for the Augies. To Sloan, Sloan spins into the paint by Kapetka. Art shot up, no, but he'll go to the line. Nate Kapetka picks up a second foul. Johnny sixth team foul. And so Yarzu Sloan is at two or three, will go back to the free throw line. Johnny's up 20 to 12, nearing the halfway point of the first half, 10.52 left to go. No, I haven't. Usually they sit up there. I haven't seen him at all. Free throws up for Yarzu Sloan and in. Five for the point guard out of Crystal, Minnesota. Listed as a junior. I thought he was a senior. I think he was a senior in football and a junior in basketball eligibility wise. Second free throws up and in. Kind of the Ryan Keating situation. 20 to 14 the score. Johnny, former star quarterback who played the uh, next year of football and used up one of his eligibility years of basketball at the University of Minnesota. Kapetka with it, down low to Markling. Markling back out to Kapetka for three again, and again he buries it. Nate Kapetka shooting 49% from beyond the arc, gets his first two threes. And we have a timeout, no. But Nate Kapetka is hot as he goes to the bench. Two sixes, or two threes rather. Pat McKenzie will come in. Also in Jesse Ellens as Ryan Hinman goes to the bench. So it's Ellens and McKenzie and Omi the guard, spot him and Markling down low. Young lineup on the floor, four freshmen. A three freshmen, a senior rather, and a sophomore. And the Augies throw it into the backcourt as they brought it into the front court. That'll be over and back in turnover number two against them. Marcus Golson threw it where Sloan was supposed to be, and he wasn't. Timeout, Oxford. Full timeout. We'll be back in a minute. Johnny's up 23 14, 10 22 to go. Back in a minute on Spirit 92.9. Ladies and gentlemen, if you please turn to page 16, you're going okay. to Any score updates you can give me? Do you have a stand down with those Johnny's and Reverend? What do you mean? No. You have a lucky winner of a winter headband from Orlando Beach Sports Center of St. Cloud. How about on the uh, Wake Forest, Louisville, and Tennessee games? Reflect your pride. St. John's would like to thank its major sponsors for the support of Johnny Athletics. Thank the British Company, St. Cloud Orthopedic Sports Center, Colbert's and Cash Wise Foods, Oral Red Market Gourmet, Pop and Born, the St. Cloud Hospital, and the St. Cloud Times. We want to 
25 college basketball at the Division One level on our Plaza Park Bank scoreboard. Number five, Kentucky falls to Vanderbilt on the road, 66-60. Number 15, North Carolina loses at Clemson, 81-72. Number 21, Purdue, beaten at home by Ohio State, 65-59. Johnny's worked the ball to the high post. Markling strip. Augie's up the floor with it. Marcus Golson gets it down to the baseline. Golson, Patterson, and he travels on the move. Third turnover against the Augie. Kind of an upset Saturday in top 25 college basketball. Number seven, Cincinnati beaten at home by Charlotte, 86-83. Number 23, South Carolina goes on the road in the SEC and loses to Mississippi, 79-68. to More scores coming up later. Ten minutes left to play in the first half. Johnny's up 23-14. Spawn him into the corner for Ellens. Johnny's with the ball. Markling with it now, right corner. Markling cross court to Ellens. Open for the three. It's up and it's in. <laughs> Jesse Ellen showing off his three-point touch. And it's a 26-14 Johnny lead. Guys who's slowing into the front court. Right side now. Into the hands of another player not on the roster for the Yankees. That's Larry Burgess. Oh, seldom used player. Gets it inside, lays it up, and he's fouled. Larry Burgess fresh off the bench. Spot picks up that foul on the drive. Burgess will go to the line. He's a 6'4 senior, 205 pounder out of Minneapolis North. So at the line, Larry Burgess, his free throw is up and in. He only had a second opportunity after the foul on Spottom. It's away and it's in and out. Rebound comes down to Jesse Ellen. And a whistle and a timeout by the official. Not sure if there's a wet spot on the floor or what. And the way Ellens came off the block to get that rebound, it looked like he slipped. So, referee, rather than see somebody slip later on, decided to try to get things cleaned up on the floor. 26-15, St. John's. Pete Gillette back in the ball game, one of the starters for the Johnnies. 6'6", 236 pound post player on a mountain with Stanka. And Spottom will go to the bench. McKenzie into the front court for St. John's, has the top of the key. Markling left side, now to Omi. Omi dribble drive to the baseline. Throws it back out to Markling, open for three. It's good! Johnny's going to the outside to knock him down, and they've done so this afternoon. Kevin Markling hitting his first three. 29-15, St. John's. Oxford with a basketball. Controlling Larry Burgess left wing. Marcus Golson back to Burgess in the corner. Burgess out on top to Sloan. Right side now into the hands of Dan Graff. Graff feeds Marcus Golson. Dribble drive against Omi. Kicks it into the corner to Sloan. It's knocked away by McKenzie, who also falls into some fans. Good hustle by Pat. Hope the fans are okay. Pat's 5'11", 163, a senior. He's not bound to hurt a lot of people when he flies into the stand, but occasionally if you're not ready for it. Dan Graff will inbound far sideline for the Augies. Bounce pass away to Sloan. Right side now to Graff. Graff down low to Olson Patterson. Spinning against Gillette inside. Shot up, nobody will go to the line. Pete Gillette picking up that foul. That is his first. And Olson Patterson ravages 16.7 boards. Already got four boards today. We'll get two free throws. He's scored a deuce so far. 8.42 left to go. St. John's on top, 29-15, playing at home in the MIAC. Looking for a W, try to keep pace with the Tommies, if not overtake them. That free throw by Olsen Patterson missed. He shoots 62% from the line on the season. As a team, the Augies at 69%. Second free throw is up and in. Three points for the 6'4", 225-pound junior out of Minneapolis. Robinsdale Armstrong. 
Aggies show some zone, a matchup 2-3. McKenzie with the basketball. Johnny's adjusts the offense. Ellens with it, left wing. Out to Omi on the right side. Fakes the drive, now does, and he's fouled on the jumper. And Olsen Patterson thought he had a clean block, and instead he's going to pick up his first foul. So each starter with at least one foul for the Aggies. Marcus and Jonathan Golson have two each. Omi at the line, where he's a 67% free throw shooter, but he has not been there often for St. John's. He is 20 of 30. First one is away and good. Five points for the Bloomington Jefferson freshman. 30 to 16, St. John's. 8.25 left to go in the first half. That second free throw rattles in and out. Olsen Patterson is fifth board for the Augies. They bring it up the floor. Yarzu Sloan, right side to Marcus Golson. Cross court now to Graff. Graff with the top of the key. Drives against Ellens, pulls it back out. Bounce pass to Golson, inside. Shot blocked by Gillette. Ellens coming out of there with it. Ellens up the floor on the right side. Leaves it for Omi for three left wing. No good. Rebound McKenzie inside. Out fights Yarzu Sloan who resets the offense. Johnny's with the basketball, up 14. McKenzie, dribble drive the right side. Bounce pass low, way up to Mark and good. Nice drive, draw, and dish for Pat McKenzie as he set up the defense. And the Yankees call another timeout. We'll take one as well. Back in a minute, you're listening to Johnny's basketball on Spirit 92.9. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn to page 20, page 20 in your Johnny Hinday program. You have a stand there with Go Johnny in the around. That's the lucky winner of a Maglite and battery from U.S. Bank. Bring your program with that information. How's it going? At this time. Please note the St. Cloud Times. Good morning, a new book on They're probably not answering up there at uh, Concordia. Information and order forms are available for you. Hopefully, a lot of people will be calling you. And you're the main days at the Sixth Arena. The St. Cloud Times, your place to be for Johnny Athletics. Johnny's basketball continues on Spirit 92.9. Johnny's on top 32-16. 18th ranked Texas, a winner over Texas A&M on the road to Big 12, 69-59. Number 17, Wake Forest, crushing Virginia, 75-48 with 727 to play in the second half. Number four, Louisville in a dog fight with Marquette, leading 41-40 at home, 15 and a half to play there. Number 20, Florida, uh, trailing at Tennessee, 36-31 with 18 and a half to go in that game. Johnny's come out trapping defense out of the timeout. Olsen Patterson with it for the Yankees in the right corner. Pass it back out to Sloan. Quick pass inside to Graff. He'll spin to the hole. Shot up. Blocked by Gillette out of bounds. And the Yankees keep the basketball. Augsburg will inbound. Olsen Patterson keying it in on the right side. Gets it into Sloan. Sloan brings it out around the perimeter. To Marcus Golson. Golson, dribble drive against Omi. Kicks it into the corner to Graf, and Graf traveled. The shot clock ran down, so there's going to be a turnover anyways. The Yankees. they're having a little problem with concentration. Uh, no one aware that the shot clock was running down. Check out with Johnny, number 14, Ryan Markling, McKenzie, Hinman checking in for Omi for the Johnnies. Gillette and Ellens on the floor. Johnnies with the ball right to left on your radio dial or view screen. Thanks for logging on and listening to Johnny's basketball this afternoon. Gillette with the basketball right side. Feeds cross court to Hinman. Hinman out to Ellens. Spotting up for three. In and out. Rebound. Whistle foul. Larry Bird just had the basketball. And he got fouled by Kevin Markley, his first. I want to thank Jim Gramke. He's uh, part of the IT department at St. John's. He's one of the people responsible for you being able to log on and listen in. He does a great job making sure that Johnny's online. Larry Burgess at the line for the Yankees. He is a senior. He's played in all 17 games this year. Free throw is up for Burgess, and it rattles in. He's hit two of three, has two points. Burgess on the season, shooting 44% from the line. We'll get another opportunity as 
He was shooting the one and one. That free throw is up and in. Johnny's on top, 32-18 at the seven-minute mark of the first half. Into the front court, McKenzie with the basketball left wing, bounce pass to Gillette on the left block. He'll back down against Olson Patterson, kick it out to Hinman for three. That's no good off the back iron. Rebound, Marcus Olson with the basketball for the Aggies. His first up the floor to Sloan. Sloan into the front court, left side to Graff. Graff for the Aggies into the corner now to Olson Patterson for three. It's good. Three pointer on number 52. The Aggies pulling back. Trail by 11, 32, 21. Johnny's on top, six and a half to play. McKenzie to the front court, left side for Hinman. Hinman out on top to Gillette. Gillette with the top of the key, right side to McKenzie. McKenzie dribble drive against Graff, pulls it back out. McKenzie for the Johnnies, almost lost the dribble. Dribbles through the lane, lays it up, goes out of bounds. Off of Pat, and it's going to be a turnover. Pat got a little out of control there. 32-21 the score. Johnny's on top of the Aggies with the basketball. Sloan will bring it into the front court, shutting out the offensive set. To Burgess, left wing, outside the arc. Burgess goes cross court to Graff, down to Sloan in the right corner. Aggies with the ball, trailing 32-21. Burgess traveled on the catch. Fifth turnover against the Aggies. Johnny's have committed three, according to our St. John's preparatory school stat sheet. St. John's prep, academic rigor, spiritual growth. Markling checks out of the ball game for St. John's. Spot him in. Hinman, Spot him, Ellens, McKenzie, and Gillette, the five on the floor for the Johnnies. Kevin Keto back in there for the Aggies. McKenzie drives on him, and Keto called for a second foul on the block. Out of the team's ninth foul, and we'll put McKenzie at the line shooting the one and one. Osbert foul number three, Kevin Keto is second. So Keto commits his second. McKenzie, a 64% free throw shooter, but he hits that one and will get another. Don't forget Johnny's basketball Monday night from beautiful Winona, Minnesota. Our favorite road trip of the year. I mean that with all sarcasm included. Second free throw in. We're on the air at 7 with countdown to tip-off. Tip-off at 7.30, and we'll be back in Collegeville sometime around noon Tuesday. 34-21 the score. Johnny's up 13 with 5.50 to go. That is the longest and worst road trip we take in the MIAC. Keto, right side now. In the hands of this, uh, check that, now Masika, Dan Graff. And the ball knocked away, goes out of bounds, and the Aggies will keep it. St. John's on top, 34-21. They're three and four at home this year, looking to even up the mark. They're seven and 11 overall, five and eight in the conference. Aggies struggling this year as well. Augsburg is three and 10 in conference, six and 12 overall. Graffle inbound for the Aggies on the far sideline. Keto, Larry Burgess has checked out, is replacing him, Jonathan Golson. Zach Rosen also back in the game. Keto with on the left wing to Graff. Graff dribble drive of the paint, comes to a slide stop, misses the five foot runner, and a rebound to Spottom. Andrew's second for St. John's. Up the floor down to McKenzie. McKenzie with it right wing. Bounce pass low to Gillette. Gillette spins on Olsen Patterson, lays it up, no. Rebound down to Graff. Doggies want to run. They get it up the floor to Olsen Patterson on the left wing. 6-4 post player, backs it out to Keto, the little guard. Back to Olsen Patterson, dribble drive against Gillette. Pulls up from 16, and the jumper's good. Looked like Gillette got a hand on the basketball, but Olsen Patterson reins it in, and it's a 34-23 Johnny Lee. Johnny with the basketball, him with it on the right wing, guarded by Graff. Out on top to McKenzie, now to Gillette. Gillette to spot him, high post right side, and he's pretty much pushed. Graff picking up this foul is first, and Andrew Spottom will go to the line for two. 10 team foul against the Aggies. So the Johnnies are the double bonus. Johnnies have been 7 of 8 from the line so far this afternoon. Not bad for a team that normally shoots 63%. Spottom himself, a 57% free throw shooter. He's a 6 foot 5, 190 pound sophomore, and he drains that one. 
Johnny said a film session yesterday after practice. Coaches thought it was very beneficial to the team. Spot him into the crouch, fires away, and scores. Two for Andrew. Keto with the ball in the backcourt. Johnny set up the full court press. They double team the five seven point guard. He gets it up the floor to Rosen, who will run it into the front court. He's picked up by Spotham of the man to man. Hands it off now to Golson. Jonathan Golson backs down against Ellens. Into the paint. Olson Patterson lays it up. He's fouled. He'll go to the line. Spotham came by trying to help out, as did Gillette. Let's see who this foul's on. It is going to be on Andrew Spotham, his second. And so Lucas Olson Patterson will go to the free throw line to shoot two. He shoots 62% for the line. He's also the team's leading fouler, which I found interesting. He's the best player and he commits the most fouls at 50 on the season. Has one so far today. Nine points for Olson Patterson as he hits that free throw. Johnny's on top, 36-24, 4.39 left to play in the first half. Second free throw is good. Out of a sparse crowd on hand here at Sexton Arena. 11 point lead for St. John's and the ball, 36-25. Gillette with it in the high post, fouled by Olsen Patterson. It's not a foul on Olsen Patterson. The ball stripped and a turnover against St. John's. It's a second call that officials made that the Johnny coaching staff's had a problem with. Kevin Keto in the front court for the Augies has it right wing. Guarded by McKenzie and the Johnny man to man. Out to Graf. He'll drive by him and shot rejected. Major rejection by Spottom and the ball out of bounds and the Johnnies get it. Spottom coming over like a condor to knock that one out of bounds. And with 4.13 to go, the Johnnies will take possession. Leading 36-25. McKenzie into the front court, has the top of the key. Stan was a point guard here at St. John's. Nice article written about the two earlier this week in the St. Cloud Times. Ellen's with it, off to spot him, top of the key, right side of Gillette, left side to Hinman. Hinman, back to Gillette on the right wing, back to Hinman. Hinman, one dribble, down low to spot him. Double team, he'll spin inside, he gets fouled. Oh, an offensive foul, oh. Tough call, spot him with a hook. And the foul, his third, and the turnover, the Johnny Stiff. That's his third. Looked like a pretty good drop step move by Andrew. Markley will be in for Spottom. 36-25 the score. Haven't seen Paul Henricks back in quite some time. Of course, he has the two fouls, and the coaches are probably saving him for the second half. Keto with it in the front court to Graf. Graf right side to Rosen against Markling out to Olsen Patterson for three. It's off the back iron. Rebound McKenzie's got it. Jump ball called. Who's going to get it this time? Johnny's do. The St. John's to get the basketball. Nice job by McKenzie, the senior, to tie up Graf. 36-25. The Johnny's by 11. Three and a half to go. McKenzie will bring it to the front court on the dribble. Working against the Augie man-to-man. McKenzie with the top of the key. Bounce pass away right side to Hinman. Back out to McKenzie, left side Omi. Omi just back into the ball game. Bounce pass to Markling, right side McKenzie. Johnny's with the ball, they get it down low to Omi, and lays it up and in. Nice down cut by Omi, got a screen, and was able to score. Keto into the front court, running it up the four hard, gets it away to Graf, left side, Augsburg three, in and out. Rebound, Pat McKenzie is fourth. McKenzie just a 5 11 guy, but he always seems to find the ball. Whistle off the ball. As setting up was Markling, and he got pushed by Rosen off the ball, and now Kevin Markling will go to the line. Patrick, Patrick. Markling will get two. Zach Rosen picks up that foul. He started this game for the Yogis, and he picks up his first foul. Double bonus for both teams with 2.59 left to go. Another MIAC action today. We'll try to get scores. They're called in. Bethel's at Hamlin, Concordia at McAllister, St. Olaf at Carleton, and St. Thomas at St. Mary's. Free throw by Markling missed. He'll get another opportunity. Markling into the crouch. The freshman out of Monticello misses that one as well. Rebound taken down by Jonathan Golson of the Augies up the floor to Keto. Keto with it right wing. Dribble drive against McKenzie into the paint. Leaves it on the baseline for Rosen, a 15-footer. That rattles in and out. Only with a rebound. Nice block out by the freshman out of Bloomington Jefferson. Only a 6'2", 180-pounder, has it left wing for the Johnnies. Dribble drive against Golson, backs it out now to McKenzie. 
Round the horn to Gillette on the right side. Johnny's with the ball. Up 38-25. Markling at three. Barely draws iron. McKenzie the rebound. Lays it up and in. Pat yeah, McKenzie working hard inside for his sixth point. And it's a 40-25 Johnny lead. Keto into the front court. Lost the dribble. McKenzie reaching in. Gets it back out. Augies with the basketball. Trailing by 15. Draft travels. Oh, they call the uh, foul against the Johnnies. Looks like he dragged the pivot foot just a bit. But instead, he'll earn a trip to the free throw line. Dan Graff, four of seven from the line, and he'll shoot these free throws after a Johnny's timeout. Back in a minute, you're listening to the Johnny's on top of the Augies, 40 to 25 on Spirit 92 point now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is page 40 in your Johnny Game Day program. If you've read your Johnny's, then from the Gold Gym ad, some very lucky Johnny's fan has won one free three month membership to Gold Gym of St. Cloud. Bring your lucky program to the fan information table. Collect your prize. Also, you want to stick around during this halftime activities where we will have the $5,000 Burns Cup Series Super America Shootout and the St. Fans Dance Team. Let's see, please. 40-25, St. John's on top. Finals from earlier today, top 25, men's basketball. Number five, Kentucky falls at Vanderbilt, 66-60. Number 15, North Carolina loses at Clemson, 81-72. Number 21, Purdue, one of the leaders in the Big Ten, drops one to Ohio State at home, 65-59. One other upset to tell you about, it was number seven, Cincinnati, beaten at home by Charlotte, 86-83. Also, number 23, South Carolina on the road in the SEC, losing to Mississippi, 79-68. That's your Plaza Park Bank scoreboard. Real people, the right choice, Plaza Park Bank. Dan Graff hits his first free throw. He has three points. He's a 6'3", 175-pound freshman out of, uh, a freshman rather, out of Lytle Lake Centennial High School. Second free throw miss. Rebound to Pichelet. McKenzie will bring it to the front court for the Johnnies. On top, 40 to 26, and the ball with two minutes to go. Markling, top of the key to McKenzie, left wing. Drives on slow, and he gets fouled. Yarzu commits his second. And Pat will go to the line for two. Pat's hit all four free throws this afternoon. At the line for St. John shooting two, number one, Pat McKenzie. Nice crowd has filled it. Maybe around a thousand. So McKenzie at the free throw line, into the crouch, fires and scores. Seven points for the senior out of Green Bay, Notre Dame. Dad was with Johnny Point Guard back in the 70s on a couple of NAIA tournament teams. Second free throws up and in for Pat. Full court press by the Johnnies. Olsen Patterson will walk it into the front court against Gillette in the man-to-man. -man. Right side now to Jonathan Golson. Yarzu slowing on the wing. Augies with the basketball, trailing 42-26. Slowing dribbles into the paint. Four-footer up, no good. Back to your ball, it. Markling with his first board for the Johnnies. Up the floor to Omi. Omi in the front court, left side. Dribble drive. Kicks it back to nobody. He, got, uh, he wanted to hit Gillette with a behind-the-back pass. And six turnover for St. John's. 42-26, Johnnies. Minute 37 left to go. By far the best first half of Johnnies basketball this season. Slowing into the front court. Top of the key to Olsen Patterson on the left wing. He'll drive, put up the runner from 12. Miss it, but get fouled by Gillette. Pete Gillette commits his second foul. Coach Smith going down the bench to get Steve Strom, a freshman player, a wing out of New Brighton, Ironville. Steve plays on the junior varsity and plays very well for Coach McBroom and Coach Holmseth. Strom comes in, Hinman out. Olson Patterson misses that free throw. He's now three for five. Ten points for the junior. Second one's away and good. Hey. Andrew Spahn back in the ball game for Gillette. 42-27 St. John's. Minute 23 left to go. 
McKenzie will bring it to the front court for St. John's. Right side now to Omi. Omi hits Markling top of the key. Left side now to McKenzie outside the arc. To Strom, right side into the hands of Omi. To spot him, to Strom. Left side, 17 feet from the hoop. To Markling on the baseline, 10 footer up. No good, hit no good by Omi. And the rebound brought down by Olsen Patterson. Augie's quickly up the floor. Left side, Sloan. Sloan down to the top of the key. To Olsen Patterson, long three, it's short. Markling grabs the rebound, and we've got a minute to play. Markling stripped of the ball. Jonathan Bolson puts up a three, it's good. Markling uh, will be told by the coaches when you grab that ball, grab it, hold on to it. 42-30, Johnny's up 12, and the ball. 35 seconds to play in the first half. Strom with it on the baseline, out to spot him, top of the key to Markling, left side McKenzie outside the arc. Back to Markling, top of the key, right side to Strom. Strom gives it up to Omi, 14 on the shot clock, Omi with the basketball between the circles, left side to Markling. Markling puts up the 12 footer from the baseline. It rims in and out. Spot him fighting for the rebound. Can't get it. Jump ball. Oh. Yep, the Argus get it. 42 to 30. Argus have trailed in the teams for much of this first half. You cut it to 10 points. To half. 15 seconds left. Sloan will bring it into the front court on the dribble. Has it top of the key. Drives on McKenzie. Spins in the paint. Shot and stolen by Markley. Markley with eight seconds to go. Up the floor to Omi. Driving against Golson. Bounce pass away. And he's up for Strom and he's fouled. Nope, no foul. Ball out of bounds for the Johnny. Looked like he got fouled. Augie's committed their sixth turnover in the first half on that trip down the floor. Omi inbounds with 4.5 seconds to go from the right baseline. Gets it in, and it's kicked out of bounds by So the Johnnies will inbound again. Omi will try it again. No time came off the clock, which is kind of odd. Should at least be a half second off. Referees are talking. And now the ref who has yet to blow his whistle in this game will come over here. And we're gonna lose some time on the clock. Four and a half seconds is what's up there now. 42 to 30, the Johnny's on top as we go toward the half. Nate Kopetka just suggested a play for the bench. One of the backup point guards, they run since he get it out to Omi, left wing for three at the horn, in and out, tipped by Strom, no good, and the Johnnies lead at the half, 42 to 30. I don't know if that was how since he was supposed to work, but unfortunately, it didn't produce any points. Nice try by Nate Kopetka to try and suggest the play. We'll take a break, Johnny's on top by 12 at the half, with eight minutes to play in the first half, 15 to 12. Another final for the top 25, number 17, Wake Forest, uh, beats Virginia, 91-78. Johnny's get the ball to start the second half. McKenzie, Hendricks, and they lob it to him, and he can't handle the basketball. Goes out of bounds for the first turnover of the second half. That could have been a dunk, but Paul didn't watch it into his hands, unfortunately. So it'll be McKenzie, Gillette, Omi, Ellens, and Hendricks with a, for the Johnny five. Augie's with the ball. They get it inside to Marcus Golson, who lays it up and in for his first two of the afternoon. Marcus Golson. Marcus Golson scores his first two. McKenzie with the basketball, top of the key, off to Hendricks. Now to Gillette on the right wing. Gillette guarded by Olsen Patterson. Bounce pass away to Omi left side. They go back door. We got a whistle, a foul off the ball. Wait, 32, illegal. Jesse Ellens with an illegal block. It'll be his second foul. And Johnny start the half with two turnovers. 42-32 to score. Look it up, let's go, come on, Ward. Johnny's on top of the 19-13 mark. Slow with the basketball for the Augies. Work the dribble to the right wing. Throws a pass to Jonathan Golson. His jumper from 15 rims in and out. And Paul Hendricks grabs his fifth rebound. Hendricks to McKenzie, walk it up the floor. Pat with it between the circles. Left side now to Omi, fakes a three. Gets it to Hendricks, Hendricks with it, left corner, had problems on the catch. Back out to Omi, top of the key, McKenzie. Johnny's with the ball, up 10. Hendricks with it, top of the key. Left side now to McKenzie. 42-32 to score. Johnny's on top. Omi, dribble drive against Rosen. Feeds low. McKenzie wide open layup. A little bit of a defensive mishap. 
for the Augies as no one stayed with McKenzie as he made his cut. And we got a foul inside on a pass from Sloan to one of the post players for the Augies. Ellens will pick up the foul. That second. is his third. Team second, both on Ellens here in the second half. Inbound situation for the Augies. Right baseline, they trail by 12. They get it into Sloan for a mid-range jumper, misses that. Rebound down to Ellens. Ellens up the floor to McKenzie. McKenzie with it on the right wing. McKenzie bounce pass to Hendricks, back out to Pat. Left side now to Gillette. Right guarded by Olsen Patterson to Hendricks. Square shoots and misses the 15. Rebound out of bounds, last touch by Marcus Colson. Johnny's get the basketball. So St. John's will inbound, baseline right side. Two minutes into the second half, Johnny's on top, 44-32. Taking it for St. John's, number 14, Ryan Inman. Inman into the ball game for the Johnnies. Ellens, the defensive stopper to the bench after picking up two quick fouls. McKenzie inbounds to Gillette, top of the key, hands it off to Pat now. McKenzie for the Johnnies in the left corner for Omi. Omi out on top of Gillette. Gillette with a basketball. One dribble, has it knocked away, loose ball. Sloan comes out of there with it, up the floor to Golson. Lays it up and misses. Rebound tipped around, Gillette hustles back to grab the loose ball. Nice hustle by Pete Gillette and Matt Omi to defend on that play. Johnny's bringing it into the front court, up 44-32 with 17 to play. Gillette with the ball to Hendricks, it's foul line right side. To Hinman, squares from 16 and nails the jumper. Ryan Hinman off the bench, instant offense. 46-32, St. John's. Slow down to the front court. It's a screen from Olsen Patterson as he dribbles to the right wing. Off to Marcus, and we got a whistle and a foul off the ball. And that fouls against Olsen Patterson for a screen. That'll be his second, and it'll be the 10th turnover against the Augies. So the Augsburg Augies trail the Johnnies by the score of 46-32. 17-14 left to go. High post, Hendricks with the ball, hands it off to McKenzie. Drive, baseline, lays it up, he's fouled by Yarzu Sloan. Got the better of Yarzu on that matchup, who picks up his third foul, and will send the Johnnies captain to the free throw line. So McKenzie, who hit all six of his free throws in the first half, We'll get an opportunity here, and head coach Brian Ahmed says, you know what, I'm going to make substitutions. Five of them. A fresh five coming on the floor for the Augies. Free throws up for McKenzie, and he misses that. Oh, excuse me, that one uh, nailed. I was looking at all the subs. So 11 points for the senior out of Green Bay Notre Dame. Hemmingson's on the floor. Josh Clem, Kevin Keto, Larry Burgess. Fresh five, folks. McKenzie hits both throws. Full court press by the Johnnies. Clem into the front court for Keto. And out of Grant Hemmingson. And the ball knocked away, and it's out of bounds, and it will be Augie Ball. Back gave it a run, almost came up with it. Johnny's on top, 48-32. They're on a 6-0 run, in fact. 16.57 left to play. Augie's Keto gets the ball in the backcourt. We'll bring it into the front court. He's a 5'7 freshman on a force leg. Has it top the key. Keto dribbles to the right wing, guarded by McKenzie in the man-to-man. -man. Cross court. Clem left wide open for three and in and out. Scramble for the rebound and hustling it down in the corner is Nathy. Nathy has it, drops it into Hemmingson. He'll body down against Gillette and put up the jump hook. It's no good, but he's fouled by Gillette. And Hemmingson took about four steps there. None were called. Pete Gillette picks up that foul. That'll be his third. Hemmingson will go to the free throw line where he's a 72% free throw shooter. 12 of 17 was Augsburg in the first half. Johnny's were 11 of 14. Grant Hemmingson into the crouch. Fires away and scores. One point for the sophomore, six seven banger out of New Brighton, Mounds View High School. Second free throw up coming, and it's short. Rebound tipped around. Larry Burgess comes out of there with it. To Hemmingson, 16 footer, no. Rebound, Omi's got it for the Johnny. Johnny's into the front court, Omi on the run. Pulls up top of the key. Omi with a basketball. 
Left side now to Hendricks. Out on top to McKenzie. Keto guards McKenzie and the Augie man to man. Johnny's with the ball up 15. 48-33. And a foul on Kevin Keto. Keto picks up his third. And a lot of fouls in the first half. 13 for the Johnny's, 12 for the Augies. Already we have three team fouls on each team in the second half. We played less than four minutes. McKenzie dribble drive to the foul line. Left side now to Gillette. Gillette back to McKenzie on the right wing. Johnny's up 48-33 in the ball. Gillette with it. Bounce pass to Hinman. Hinman with the top of the key. Hinman left side. Omi. 17 foot jumper. Good. And the Johnny Lee climbs to 17. Keto dribble drive to the lane. Lay up up. Round the rim and out. Rebound Gillette. High in the air. Triple team trying to get it out. Dribbles through it. Up the floor to McKenzie. Johnny's with numbers. Three on two. Moby driving. Threw it back into the lane where he thought McKenzie was, where he wasn't. And the Johnny's turn it over. Up the floor, right side. Rosen. Three pointer going up and in and out. Rebound Hendricks. Johnny's will slow it down now. Omi will bring it into the front court. Approaching the 15 minute mark, and the Johnny's up 50 33. Nathy guarding Omi. Omi drives on him, gets double teamed, feeds Hinman top of the key, left side Gillette. Cross court, Omi fakes a three on Nathy. Back to Gillette. Down to Hendricks, 15 footer left side. Good for Paul Hendricks. 52 33, Johnny's. They are rolling. They are on a 10 0, 10 1 run, rather. Markling and Nate Kopetkin set to come into the ball game for St. John's next dead ball. Keto off to Burgess, top of the key for the Yogis. He'll drive, left of the lane, now into the lane, two-foot runner, good. Burgess with some nice moves to the lane. Timeout taken by Oxford, we'll take one as well. Back in a minute, you're listening to Johnny Basketball on Spirit 92.9. Anybody else call you? Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 52 and you're trying to get a vote, no, I know. 52. If you like a long, 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 yeah. People get a number at like, you gotta show up at like your drive. Oh, you no, know, I have no idea how that stuff turned out. Oh, haven't talked to Mike. Yeah, have Mike call him and deal with him. Yeah, Mike Mike knows more than I do. Kopecka with the basketball for the Johnnies, puts up a 15-footer, and Larry Burgess hacked him. First foul over there. 14 foul for the Augies. And so Nick Kopecka will go to the free throw line, a 88% free throw shooter. He's hit seven of eight on the year. Nate, Elk River native, his father, Frank, was a pretty darn good player up at Bemidji State. Kopecka misses that free throw. Pretty good score from what I understand. Second free throws away and good. Seven points for Nate. Johnny Lee, 53-35. Burgess facing a full court press. Gets it in the corner to Clem. Up the floor to Keto, tripped up. And he steps out of bounds, turning it over. Tough non-foul call there. Keto got kind of bumped by Kopetka. Another turnover for the Augies. Kopetka inbounding, sideline left. Hands it off now to Markling. Back to Kopetka. Augies uh, looks like to go into a 2-3 matchup. Markling with the ball, right corner. Cross-court pass to Kopetka, fakes it into the corner. Now into the corner for him, and for three, it's no good. Scramble for the rebound. Keto comes out of there with it, and he gets tripped up. And Hinman, because he's on the floor, calls for the foul. Really, that one should be on Hendricks, but Ryan will take it. That's his first. Fourth team foul against the Johnnies. 14 minutes to go. Second half action from Sexton Arena on the campus of St. John's University in Collegeville. Johnny's come with a half-court trap defense. Keto with a basketball. Left side now to Nathy. Nathy into the corner to Burgess. Back out. Keto down low to Hemmingson. Puts a layup up. No good. Tip no good by Hemmingson. Scramble for the rebound. Omi comes out of there with it. Omi for the Johnny's into the front court. Lobs it for Hendricks, and he's fouled by Hemmingson. 
Hemmingson gives the ref an earful. Thought he got fouled the last time down the floor. Hemmingson picks up his second foul. Kopetki inbounds, baseline right. They get it in out front. Omi, wide open three, top of the key is good. 13.30 to go. Hoggies into the front court. Keto with a basketball. Gets a nice screen from Hemmingson. He'll pull up for three. Will Keto and he'll nail. Just drain it. I tell you what, give Keto a lot of credit. First year player, but a good move. The screen was set up. Kopetka, the senior, knew it was there. Tried to get around it. And Keto went the other way where he was wide open. Hinman has it in the corner. Off to Kopetka. Right side down to Omi. He went away for the screen to open up the three. Omi dribble tried through the lane. Stripped by Burgess. Here come the Augies up the floor. Burgess to Keto. Lives for Burgess. Lays it off the glass and in. Larry Burgess with seven points. Pat McKenzie up off the bench. He'll be in at the next dead ball. Johnny Lee, which uh, is pretty sizable. Still pretty good at 16 points. 56-40. Kopetka with it. Guarded by Keto. Bounce pass away right corner for Hinman. He'll drive baseline. Get it to Hendricks. The ball knocked away. Kopetka there to pick it up for St. John. Off to Omi left wing. Omi, bounce pass away to Kopetka, right corner for Hinman. Hinman goes cross court, it's stolen away. Threw it away to Burt, right to Burgess. Johnny's uh, having a little problem with the turnover now. Burgess, top of the key, Clem for three. Josh Clem's three is no good. Hendricks chases down the rebound and Coach Smith stands up. We're gonna see a timeout. Timeout Johnny's, they lead 56-40. We'll take a break as well. You're listening to Johnny's Basketball in Spirit 92.9. Full timeout. Full timeout. Keep it for a minute. All right, you have an update for the Minnesota game? Ladies and gentlemen, of Georgia, oh. stamped in red. See, you know what? I don't want you dealing with skill and stuff. Or are you and trying to call my game? I don't want you dealing with skill and stuff. That's not your job to do. I'm serious. And if anybody has a problem with it, they can come see me and we'll battle with them. We thank its major sponsors for their support of Johnny Athletics. Thanks to Bernie Spencer, St. Cloud Florida Beatty Sports Center, Cold Bones and Casualized Foods, Orville Wedge Bacchus, Romeo Topping. If you've told enough people, if you've told Mike, and if you've left a message for Scott, that's it. That's all you have to do. You should be not even have to do that before Johnny Basketball and Hockey schedule. They can deal with it. They are located in entrances and schedules. Welcome back, Johnny. 56-40 leaders here in the second half. We have 12-12 left to play. Minnesota on the road, the Big Ten trailing at Northwestern with 13.50 to go there, 35-32 on our Plaza Park Bank scoreboard. If you're looking for tickets for Skillet, there's still about 50 available apparently. Probably buy them at the door. That's all I know. McKenzie with it to Markling left side to Kopetka. Augie's come out in a trap, a half-court trap defense. McKenzie drives baseline, gets double team, kicks it out to Kopetka. He'll drive into the corner, give it away to McKenzie. McKenzie pull it past down low. Markling wide open, leaves it up and in. Kevin Markling, the 6'5", 200-pound freshman on a Monticello, coming up with his third field goal of the day. 58-40, Giants. Keto with a basketball, guarded by McKenzie in the man-to-man. -man. Gets a couple of screens out front. Drives against Kopetka now. Stripped of the basketball by Nate, who stepped on the end line, turning it back over to the Augies. So the Augies will inbound baseline, right side. And doing the honors is Nathy. Nathy to Burgess, left corner. Burgess guarded by Hendricks, right side. He'll drive it to the paint. 15-footer away, short. Hendricks grabs another rebound. He has eight, averages 10 a game. Up the floor, Kopetka with it, right side to Ellens. Johnny's with the basketball. Hendricks left open for 17, misses the jumper. And the rebound to Larry Burgess. Burgess up the floor to Keto. Keto with the ball, left wing. Outside the arc for Augsburg. Into the corner now to Nathy. Stay down, Henry, stay down. Nathy, cross-court pass to Burgess. Into the corner now for Clem. Clem, bounce pass to Hemmingson. He'll put up the layup and score. Got held a little bit by Hendricks, but Grant Hemmingson muscling through to score two. 58-42 St. John's and the ball. 10-50, left to go. McKenzie, left side now for Ellens. 
Ellens out on top to Kopetka, top of the key to Hendricks. Hendricks left side to McKenzie. McKenzie guarded by Josh Clem, junior out of Maplewood. Back to McKenzie, dribble drive to the paint. Into the corner for Markling. Markling one dribble, gets it away now to Kopetka. Six on the shot clock, the ball into the backcourt, out of bounds it goes. Johnny's will keep it, but have just three seconds on the shot clock. In which to pull off a shot. She led into the ball game for Hendricks. Markling stays on the floor. He's on the floor with Kopetka, McKenzie, and Ellens. Whoever gets it, Kopetka or McKenzie, he's got to put it up quick. Three on the shot clock. McKenzie, a half court deep, no good. Long rebound comes out. Clem, in fact, they call a uh, shot clock violation. 58 42, the Johnnies by 16. Approaching the 10 minute mark. Keto will bring it into the front court. Kevin Keto, 5'7, freshman out of Forest Lake, will put up a long three and miss it. Scramble for the rebound. Who's got it? It's on the floor. Rugby scrum for it. Kopetka comes out of there with it, and it's knocked away, and the Johnnies get it. Nate Kopetka going right to his knees to grab the ball. Couldn't do it. Had it knocked away, but the Johnnies get it. Kenzie shots out motion offense as he brings it into the front court for St. John. Has it between the circles. McKenzie facing a zone by Augsburg. Matchup 2 3. Gets Capetta on the right wing. Into the corner for Markling. Double teamed out to Gillette. Three, top of the key. It's good. The 6 6 senior steps outside and knocks down his second three in this game for all six of his points. 61 42, Johnny. 19 point lead at the 9 29 mark. Augie's with the ball. Burgess will try a three to answer. Can't hit it. Rebound to Markling. Whistle and a foul inside. Push on one of the Augies. Augies commit their sixth team foul. This one goes against Dan Graff. It'll be his second. Graff just came in at the last dead ball. So it's McKenzie, Markling, Ellens, Gillette, and Kopetka on the floor for St. John's. A little bit more experience here with three seniors, two freshmen. Markling with it in the right corner for the Johnnies to Ellens on the baseline. He'll spin, get it away to Gillette. The ball knocked away, turnover. Keto coming out of there with it. Keto, the freshman for the Yogis with it left wing. Cross court pass to Graff, takes an NBA three. Puts it on the floor a little bit, now pulls it back out to Keto. Left side to Burgess. Burgess, the senior, drives baseline, lays it up and in. Larry Burgess took the quickest route for the hoop, the baseline, and he scores his ninth point. 61-44 St. John's, 8.40 left to go. Second half action from Sexton Arena on the campus of St. John's University. Right side, Kopetka with it, out to Gillette. Another three, can Pete hit three? He can! Team Gillette stepping outside, knocking down three, three balls. Nine points for the senior, on a mound with Skanka. Keto, the Hemmingson on the right block. He'll spin in against Gillette. Pull his way to the hoop and travel. Pete Gillette earning praise from the bench from Coach Bob Alvarez. The checks out as Matt Omi's in. Thanks, Nate. 64 <laughs> 44 the score. Markling inbounds. McKenzie will bring it up the floor. Right side to Omi. Into the corner to Markling. Augie's playing the 2-3 uh, zone. Now they switch. Oh, they're still playing the matchup. McKenzie with it to Ellens of the right wing. Thought about the three. Back to McKenzie. Dribble drive. Runner from six. Off the glass. Good. So that almost tipped it over. He went up to offensive goal tip, but they didn't come out. Keto into the front court. Johnny's up 22. Augie's with the basketball, whistle and a foul inside. This one's on Jesse Allen, fighting with Dan Graff. Allen commits his fourth foul at the 742 mark. 15 foul against the Johnny. That is the fourth foul. It's only the 15 foul. One of the officials thought about giving the Augies a one and one on the 15th foul. Keto on the inbounds for the Augies. Download a Hemmingson who lays it up and in. 
Five-way basket up to be five. Augie's cut the lead 20, 66-46. Cut to the basketball. Left to right on your radio dial. McKenzie, right side now to Omi. Omi outside the arc into the corner to Markling, to Ellens. Back out to Omi, top the key, Gillette. Gillette. Cross court to Omi for three. Left wing, short. Ellens lays it up and in on the rebound. That one was way short, but Ellens was right there for his seventh point. 68-46 counting, 7.07 to go. Keto with the basketball between the circles, right side to Rosen, down low to Hemmingson, back out to Rosen. Rosen leads in from 17 and drains the jumper. Zach Rosen started the game, spent a lot of time on the bench in the second half, he comes up for his sixth point. McKenzie with the ball to Ellen's left side, back to McKenzie, now to Gillette, reverse the ball right side, Markling a three on the wing, no good. Gillette, skies high for the rebound for the Johnnies. Back out to McKenzie and the Johnnies reset the offense. Timeout, St. John's, 68-48. They're up, six and a half to go. We'll take a break. You're listening to Johnny's Basketball. Back in a minute on Spirit 93.9. How, uh, did Kopecka come over the air when he said that? GD, he dropped a GD. Did my comment stink in concert go over the air? Oh, good. <laughs> Okay. 28. Okay. 28 is Johnny Game Day program. If you have a red Johnny stamp this year, you're going to have a long free t-shirt. We were going to call from Hamlin? Do you ever get that concert thing handled? Ah. How are we doing on breaks? Okay. Johnny's on top by 20, 68, 48 with the ball. Only loses it out of bounds. Last touch by Dan Graff of the Augie. Interesting lineup on the floor is it's uh, Gillette, Omi, Markling, McKenzie, and Steve Strom. Three freshmen, two seniors. McKenzie inbounds to Markling. Back to McKenzie. Bounce pass in the high post to Gillette at the foul line right side. Gillette left side to Omi. Omi outside the arc. Four on the shot clock to McKenzie for three. No good. Rebound tipped around. Strom with it in the corner. Out to Markley. Good battle by the freshman. Johnny reset the offense. Under six to go. They get it inside of McKenzie. Triple team. Lost it out of bounds and turned it over. He also got hip checked to the floor. Got the official, he's got the out of bounds ball. Spot him into the ball game for Markley. Johnny's 520 with 555 to go. Johnny's will be on the road the next two games at St. Mary's at St. Ola. Coverage of both on Spirit 92.9. Monday and Wednesday night starts at 7. Jonathan Golson gets a turnaround jumper to go up on the right block for his second hoop. He has five on the game. And we'll try to turn it into a three-point play as he was fouled. Only picks up the foul, his first. So Jonathan Golson out of Gary, Indiana, 6'1 sophomore, 210 pounder. Shoots 88% for the line, but misses that one. Omi with his rebound number five. Omi will bring it up the left side of the floor for the Johnnies, firmly in control by 18, 68-50. Strom with it into the high post for Spahn reverse the ball left corner for Gillette. Cross court pass to Strom in the right corner. Strom cross court to Omi on the left wing. So defense by the Yogis. Gillette down low to Spahn. He'll back down against Hemmingson. Trying to feed inside to Gillette and lose the ball. Augies quickly up the floor and they turn it over. Jonathan Golson couldn't handle a long down court pass. Johnny's dropped the first game, 55-44s. They had problems shooting the ball from outside, inside, the foul line, didn't matter. But here they are rolling. Really came out attacking on offense. Into the front court, McKenzie. Into the corner for Strom. Cross court to Omi on the left wing. Omi into the left corner for the Johnnies to spot him. Back out, top of the key to McKenzie. Again, the zone by Augsburg. Omi for three left wing, good! The freshman out of Wilmington, Jeff, with 15. Only he's hit a couple of threes here in the second half. 
Keita with the ball for the Augies. Now to Jonathan Golson. Off balance jumper from eight. Good. Golson with his hoop from the uh, baseline. 71-52 St. John's. Four and a half to play. McKenzie with it in the high post to Gillette. Back top of the key. Pete for three. It's good. Pete Gillette hits four threes. Drops all of his points. Came in one of four from beyond the arc for the, for the season. And a whistle and a foul on Omi. One and one to be shot by Jonathan Golson of the Augies. He's 0 for 1 from the line today. St. John's will get the win and improve to 8 and 11 overall. 4 and 4 at home and 6 and 8 in the MIAC. If they can hold out of the uh, 21 point lead with 4.17 to go. Golson's free throw is up and in. 8. Make it nine for the sophomores. He buries both free throws. McKenzie into the front court. Johnny's by 20, 74-54. Left side, Strom with it. To Gillette, Gillette back down to McKenzie, top of the key. Again, the zone played by the Aussies. A 1-3-1 one, one matchup. And the ball stolen. Graf cut in front of the pass from McKenzie to Omi. Lays it up in, and Omi on the foul. Ouch. That hurts. Coach Jim Smith down the floor wants to talk to his point guard, Pat McKenzie. And at the line will be Dan Graff. Free throws up. Miss. Bottom with the rebound. And the Johnnies turn it over. Graff with it, cross court to Keto in the right corner. Keto dribble drive, throws it across court. Graff for three, no good. Rebound, Pete Gillette, play of the year to grab this one. He's gonna be our player of the game, but then he turns it over, trying to get it down the floor. Golson a three from the corner is no good. This time the rebound grabbed by Omi, and he wants to bring it up the floor himself, but he's fouled by Graff. Johnny's uh, making their 19th turnover. And it's Coach Jim Smith wants a timeout. He wants this game to end positively, and that's not happening. 74 50s and Johnny fights the Omi will be at the line when we come back. You're listening to Johnny's Basketball back in 30 on Spirit 92.9. Ladies and gentlemen, you please turn to the inside front cover of your Johnny Gable program. If you can let your Johnny stamp on his head, you can have three parts of the free microwave popping corn. Gold Jim, the sponsor of our player of the game, honors, and it's it's gonna be, I think Pete Gillette, 12 points, five boards. He has really helped out the offense, played a great game defensively. Matt Omi at the line, and he'll be shooting uh, the one and one. And he misses the front end, and a foul call on Spottom over the back of Corey Nathy. And Nathy will go to the other end and shoot one and one. Andrew Spottom picks up his fourth foul. 3.31 to go. Johnny's up 74 56, and Paul Hendricks will re enter the game. Johnny Sophomore. Six points, nine boards, eight boards rather. Bottom checks out. Corey Nathy at the line. Nathy's about a 6 3 wing player. And the free throw is up and in. One point for Nathy was off the bench. 74-57 St. John's. We at St. Mary's Monday night. Uh, Pre-game show start time. 7 o'clock, tip at 7.30. Henricks grabs the rebound after the miss on the second attempt. And he'll get it up to Florida McKenzie. Johnny's into the front court. Leading 74-57 in the ball. McKenzie, top of the key now to Henricks. Henricks back to McKenzie. McKenzie to Henricks right wing. Henricks feeds and fouls. Of course, against the Yogi. Yeah. 
We'll put Paul Henricks at the line, shooting the one and one. He's a 67% free throw shooter. Shooting the one and one for St. John's in 25, Paul Henricks. 19 free throws shot by St. John's this afternoon. And they have hit 14. Paul Henricks at the line. Into the crouch, fires away and scores. Seven points for the sophomore out of Stetsonville, Wisconsin, graduate of, graduate of Medford High School. Paul get another opportunity, gets away and around the rim and out. Rebound tipped around. And one of the Augies has to grab the basketball. That's uh, Tate Thompson, a freshman just into the ball game. And on the other end, Nafee. Uh, Dan Graff rather scores a layup. 75-59, Johnny's under three to go. McKenzie in the front court with the top of the key. Right side to Omi. Johnny's on top. They get it down low to McKenzie. Reverse layup. Up and in. For Pat McKenzie. So John's got his foot on the run. Kevin Keto into the front court. The Augies. Left wing. Dribble try through the lane. Traveled. No call. Leaves it up and in. Augies got some Must be in the NBA all of a sudden. 77-61. 228 to go. McKenzie with it between the circles. Gets to Omi left wing. Omi feeds inside to Hendricks. Bam, ball batted away. Johnny's 20th turnover. Up the floor. Clem with the basketball. He'll put up a three. It's no good. Tip is good, though. That's uh, Graff. Casey Zilka. Casey Zilka, rather, with his first two off a rebound. Ellens with her uh, check that. Uh, Omi with the basketball on the left wing. Johnny's getting ready to clear the bench, and they call timeout. 77-63, a 14-point lead. Minute 52 to go. We'll take a break. Back in a minute. You're listening to Johnny's basketball on the 92.9. On top, 77-63, Matt Kahn, Tim Johnston, Mark Epsky, Sam Jordan, and Brett Masika. Five seniors getting some time. Final couple of minutes. Masika inbounding. Gets it into Kahn. Kahn with the basketball between the circles, guarded by Keto. Back to Kahn, right side to Epsky. Back to Khan. Khan running things at the point. Lobs for Epsky, and he misses the layup. Now he's got a little flashy there, and unfortunately missed the layup. Up the floor, Graf with it. To Zilka into the corner. Zilka will try three. It's good. Casey Zilka coming up with a big hoop near the end. 77-66. Johnny's by 11. And the ball. Masika with it. Down low to Khan on the give and go. Johnston lays it up and misses the layup. Zilka with the basketball. Keto. Keto with a minute 13 to go. And the Johnny's up 11. Driving. Jumper up. No, but he's fouled. Two shots. Jordan picks up the foul. His first. Keto at the line. First free throw is good. He'll get another opportunity. Keto is 76% free throw shooter. Ultra quick point. Second one is up. Good as well. Seven points for the freshman. 77-68. Minute to go. 
Johnson to the backcourt, up the floor to Kahn. Kahn behind his back, dribbling into traffic, and gets it into the front court to Jordan. Jordan up the floor to Masika. Masika wants to run some clock. Got him set up the offense. Masika with a left wing, outside the arc. Masika, bounce pass to the block to Kahn. Out to Epsky, top of the key to Jordan. Right wing three, in and out. Rebound, Masika down low. Throws it out to the corner to, uh, to Johnston. Now to Kahn, good hustle by the 25. 30 seconds to play. Masika with the ball left wing, outside the arc. Yeah, to Jordan to the corner for three. Good that time. And Sam Jordan with a big three. 68 to score, Johnny 512. Right down the floor, Graf for Augsburg, misses a runner from 12, Con the rebound, 20 seconds to go. Up the floor, Epsky down low, Johnston lays it up, no, Epsky tip, no. And the rebound comes down to Tate Thompson of Augsburg. Thompson up the floor, he's a 6-4 wing. Runner from eight, got it and the foul. Six seconds to go, Tate Thompson will be at the line. 80 to 70 to score. Johnny's on top. Tell you what, Coach Ahmed took the starters out. I can't remember. I should have written it down. Probably about the 15 minute mark and seen enough for the starters. Yeah, those guys didn't see the light of day for the rest of this game. Masika grabs the rebound off the missed free throw, runs out the clock, and the Johnny. Come out of Sexton Arena with an 80 to 70 win over the Augsburg Aggies. Unfortunately, due to the skill concert, we can have a nice post-game show and a lot of interviews. So I will tell you this, Connie's led in scoring by Pat McKenzie with 16, Matt only with 15. But our player of the game award goes to Pete Gillette. Pete Gillette, the senior out of Mount Wistonka, is our gold skin player of the game, serious fitness for everybody.